Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a product called the Cool Turtle, which is an As Seen on TV mask insert. To see if it really works, that's today's video. Alright, just a quick video today. I've got one product. This is the Cool Turtle. I ordered direct from the Bulbhead website. This is an As Seen on TV product. A mask insert that has a lot of supposed features. This goes underneath your mask and creates a cushion where you don't have the mask up against your face. It supposedly helps you breathe better, talk better. It doesn't sacrifice any safety issues. We'll see if it really works. So let's check it out. So I bought it direct from the website, so I didn't get any retail packaging. It just, to me, it just came like this in a box. That's it. Not a lot to it. They, oh, the, I also got a special where you got some masks as well. So I'll try one of these out. Very, very high tech. The claims are that it creates a breathable pocket, avoids getting lipstick or lip balm on your mask, allows you to speak and breathe more easily. Made of flexible plastic for all day use, washable and reusable. I think I paid 25 bucks for a, a double offer on a direct website. Retail packaging, I think, is uh, six of these for 10 bucks. This is on Amazon. I went through the comments there to see what people were thinking. Some people said it was not very soft and flexible like they expected, while others said it did help them breathe more easily and they liked it. So it's kind of mixed reviews on this. So let's, uh, let's see what I can come up with. One thing I noticed is that it has these clips, and the clips supposedly work on some masks, I guess. It looks like they said it can work with any mask, but if I guess if you have this type of mask, you can just kind of clip it on like that. But it seems like most people, even in their ads, weren't even using the clips. They were just kind of putting it in there. So I may or may not use those. But I've got some errands to run today, and I would be using my mask a lot. So this would be a good opportunity for me to try this out. So let's head out the car and get started. All right, before I get too involved in my errands here, let me get this situated. Let me try it with a few different types of masks and see if it makes much of a difference. Now, the way they were showing the commercial, even though it has these hooks that you can use on that certain type of mask, most people, they were just showing them, lifting it up and sticking it in there, so to speak. So let me just try, I'm going to go through a few of them here and see and see how it actually works. All right. First up, Golden Knights mask. They were showing it like this, just lifting up, sticking it in there over your nose. Hmm. I'm going to try a test here because I don't know if you're actually going to hear me any better or not. Was, what I'm going to do is one side of the screen, I'm going to talk with a cool turtle on. And the other side of the screen, I'm going to talk without the cool turtle on. Both of them wearing a mask. So test one with the cool turtle. Does this sound clearer than the other side that I'm about to play right now? Or is this side better without the cool turtle? I almost feel like it's better without the cool turtle. I'm not really sure. What do you think about that? I'm not, I'm not convinced yet. Let me try another mask. How about the ShamWow mask? Sometimes they were showing them pe people were just holding it against the, uh, against the mask like that and putting it on kind of all together. I could try it like that. So I kind of have it just resting in there. All right, I guess it. I guess it feels okay. I'm gonna have to try this with and without on on all these masks and see and see how I feel. You know what's funny is that having that cushion of air around your mouth sounds like a good idea, but actually feels almost hotter. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. I'm, I'm not. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Let me see. This ShamWow mask kind of smells funny. I I don't know what that is. I have one of these generic black masks here. Put that on. I'm gonna. Insert the cool turtle underneath. All right, what we got here? I don't know. It seems like, wow, look at my ears pulling down like that. That looks terrible. I see what they're going for. I, this mask is too small for me. Look at my ears. I see what they're going for. Oh, look at that, huh? All right, let me, let me try the, the mask that came with the cool turtle on the special offer here. I don't know if I can really hook it onto these, onto these flaps here. A lot of people were saying that the, the, the clips really didn't work, so I'm not going to worry about the clips. Let me just put the mask on and put the cool turtle on. There we go. Just slip it in there. I should just walk around like this and say this is my mask. It looks, it's like this, it looks like I have an athletic cup on my face. But what I was going to say is that it's weird because I feel a little bit less claustrophobic because it does create that kind of bubble around your mouth. But on the other hand, I feel like the air is even hotter because it's just being held against my mouth. When it's, when it's just the mask, it feels like it kind of clears out faster. But when it's there, it's just kind of lingering. But I'm not real convinced. What I'm going to do is I got some errands to run. I'm going to wear it in the establishment. So I'm going to come back and I'll give you my final, my final thoughts. I'm going to take a walk around this park and see how it holds up under some brisk exercise. So. Let me try that out and let you know what happens. All right, well, it definitely fogs up the, my glasses even more. 
I'd say it, my glasses are actually foggier than when I don't have this in there. That's one con, but otherwise it works fine. That's just the only thing I've noticed. My glasses are foggier. I guess I can see why some people might have expected a softer silicone. It, the hardness doesn't bother me. It, it bothers some people on Amazon comments. It doesn't really bother me. It does feel like you're wearing an athletic cup though. It, it's kind of strange. I don't feel to be too intrusive. I just, to me, the biggest problem is that, that air being uh, lingering around your face. If that doesn't bother you, then I, I can see there are some benefits. Some people have said that it left a marker on their face. I have facial hair, so I guess maybe I'm, I don't have that problem as much. Uh, it ha hasn't been a problem with me. I don't have, I've been wearing it for a little while and I haven't seen much of a problem. So to me, the, it's not leaving a marker on my face. That could also depend on how tight you wear your mask too, I guess. I should also point out there's a bunch of other similar products like this on Amazon. Some cheaper, some more expensive, some with slightly different designs, some that go over your ears. So it might pay to shop around. Uh, I, when I was looking this up on Amazon, I found a lot of them out there. So bulb head certainly doesn't have the corner of the market on this design, there's a bunch of them. And it seems like all of them have somewhat mixed reviews, slightly positive, but you know how Amazon goes. You have to kind of prorate Amazon. They're always gonna be slightly positive. I wonder why that is. So whether it's this brand or another, it seems like it's certainly something that some people are gonna like and some people won't. I don't find it uncomfortable, I just don't find it necessary. I had to fuel up before I finished this video. I think I'm ready to wrap this thing up. I got some pros and cons about the uh, the cool turtle. One con that I realized when I was walking around the park is that this plastic held up against your face, it kind of makes your face sweaty when I take it off. This, it's much sweatier than when I just wear a mask. The other con I would say is that, as I noted earlier, it kind of keeps a bubble of hot air that lingers around your mouth. The pros are that it does keep the mask away from your face. Uh, which is a good thing. Some people are, have a real big problem with that and this, this solves that. I don't think it's uncomfortable whatsoever. I, some people had a problem with the comfort. I, I didn't. I guess my biggest issue with the Cool Turtle is that it doesn't really make the mask experience any better. It, it's just, it might solve a problem for some people, but it's not going to be universally a better mask experience. It, situational use at, at best, I would say. If you really hate wearing a mask, which I mean, who really likes wearing one? But if you really hate it and you're just desperate for anything that might help a little bit, there's some cheap ones out there even cheaper than this might be worth a shot, maybe. Although I'd keep my expectations extraordinarily low because to me it didn't really make much of a difference. In fact, it, it, it maybe it took one problem away and added another one. So to me, it's kind of a wash, not really something I'd buy. Since this is a short video, I wanted to say that I have a Q&A at the end. I had posted a Q&A on my story on YouTube last week. I didn't get to all the questions, so I added some more at the end of this video. If you're interested, then stick around for that. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. So I recently posted a Q&A on my YouTube story, and I got to as many questions as I could, but there were some that came after the fact that I didn't really get to, so I'm going to do some of them right here. Someone asked what concert I want to go to the most once I'm able to go to concerts again. Well, I don't really know what's going to be coming in the area, at this point, I'm going to be happy to see any concert. I'll, I'll see almost anybody at this point. I just, I miss live music. I don't even know who's going to be coming through Vegas anytime soon. I wish I did. I might have to travel to a concert I want to see. Someone asked if I've considered giving away some of the old products I've reviewed. Now, I have considered that, but the only problem with that is that, number one, I always end up going back to the boneyard and pulling stuff out that might be similar or a redone version of stuff I'm doing now. I'm always pulling stuff out of there, so I'm a little hesitant to do that. Second of all, if I'd give you given away a used item, I'd rather just give away a new version. But I have, cause I've actually given away a few things to friends of mine, but just giving away to viewers, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do much of that. Someone asked if I've ever been scammed and not received the products. Well, I have ordered things from Wish that never arrived. And my, my Wish versus SC on TV series, which I know I need to do another part of that. I usually order one or two extra because I know I'm not going to get all of them. So I don't know if you consider that being scammed or just a really bad system, but I don't always receive everything from Wish. Who did you want to win the Super Bowl? I, I wasn't really emotionally invested in either one of those teams. I just wanted a good game. Unfortunately, I didn't really get that. It was kind of a lopsided game. Congratulations to Tampa Bay and good luck next time, Chiefs. Someone asked for the recommended head shaver. Now, it's not a head shaver specifically, but I do use the Gillette Fusion 5 Series still. I reviewed that like four years ago, and I'm still using it. It's still a great razor. That's what I use for my head. It cuts through it like butter. It's still my razor of choice. I've tried some, some head shaving devices. They don't match up. Someone asked how many gadgets I've tested and all. I think it's co coming close to 600 now. It's, it's in the high 500s. I actually have a spreadsheet of every video I've done and how many gadgets are each one. I, I don't have in front of me, but I think it's, it's pretty close to 600 at this point. Joseph asked if I have any plans to expand my content. I mean, I, I've kind of been slowly expanding over the years. It's, it's definitely changed since my channel first started. 
I have some things lined up for later this year that hopefully pan out that would definitely expand my channel, but I can't really talk about that because it's not set yet. But I'm always looking at ways to improve without abandoning the things that have worked for me. So I, I definitely hope to have new things introduced and some things will work, some things won't. But I'll always, always be trying new things because I don't want to get stale or get boring. What's your favorite fact about history, preferably World War II? The World War II fact that I find interesting is that Truman didn't know about the Manhattan Project until he was president. This is obviously not the time to go into the Truman Manhattan Project discussion, but I think that is an interesting fact. You would think the vice president would be in the loop. Back then, they weren't so much in the loop. Someone wanted to know if I made most of my money playing a band. I made no money playing a band. If you if you play in a band these days, you got to really love doing it, and it's not for the money. I, I never made any money playing a band. I've just been a musician my whole life. It's a creative outlet for me. I have fun with it. It's a hobby. I never made a cent, really, at playing in the band. For those of you who did stick around for this Q&A, I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. What movies does this remind me of? Hmm.